Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Adam, the CEO of Phytoponics, a company that has a system that is going to transform industrial agriculture. But before I tell you about our system, can you tell me what farming on space, basement marijuana, and growing huge melons have in common? It's easy. It's called hydroponics. It's a way of growing plants in water that uses 10 times less land and water than soil. Besides being highly profitable, it's a really cool technology. In fact, I've been growing with hydroponics for more than 12 years. And in that time, I recognized many problems that needed solving, such as in installations can cost millions of euros per hectare, taking years to repay and being unaffordable for many. And cheaper systems use and throw away growing media every year, which is, adds a lot of waste and annoyance for farmers. And systems are just complicated and difficult to use, adding a lot of risk and uncertainty for new farmers. But hang on, hydroponics can make millions of euros per hectare. So to solve these problems, we invented Phytoponics, an automated hydroponic growing system that's affordable, sustainable, and profitable. Being made from a flexible, high-tech polymer, our system rolls up compact, transports cheaply, and installs fast by simply unrolling, inflating, connecting, and growing. And phytoponics lasts for up to 10 years, and uh, it's, uh, it uses water with no growing media, and it's recyclable after use. It's truly sustainable. And through combining many features that growers need with an automated multi-crop nutrient system, phytoponics is easy to use, risk is reduced, and profits are raised. Phytoponics works using deep water culture growing technology, where plants are held and roots are fed using nutrient solution, using bubble burst technology in our patent pending design. And this, this design can scale to many different sizes and serve many different types of crops, all fed from our multi-crop automated nutrient system. Thank you. But our competitors in the market <laughs> whoops, uh, are Grodan and Hydronov. Now, Grodan uses rock wool that has to be thrown away every year after use. And Hydronov uses polystyrene rafts on, uh, with robots, which is a very expensive investment for farmers. Phytoponics is more sustainable than Grodan because it uses only water with no growing substrate. And it's cheaper than Hydronov because we use machines that farmers already use to harvest uh, the crop instead of robots. Much cheaper. But what about our market? You see this shape? This is our target market. It's commercial greenhouse growers of fruit and vegetables. And you might have seen these guys in, in Italy, such as in Battipaglia. Bat Italy is our first target market, and Battipaglia is where our first customer is. And Italy, the Italian market's worth three and a half billion euros as an addressable market. And Spain is our second target market, which is worth nearly 10 billion euros. But globally, there are 480,000 hectares of greenhouses, offering us an opportunity of up to 96 billion euros as a total addressable market. But currently, only a, only a few crops are suited to hydroponics. But we, we believe in the future, as crop breeding develops, more and more crops will become suitable for hydroponics, potentially growing the sector into a 400 billion euro industry. We sell our system on a purchase business model with a typical installation costing up to 200,000 euros per hectare, uh, including a 40% gross margin. And we plan to increase this gross margin to 60% in the future through mass manufacture. We filed international IP with a pending patent, trademark, and registered designs to cover our huge international market. And I'm very proud of our Anglo-Italian team and our ability to execute. Again, I'm Adam, the CEO. I'm an entrepreneur and inventor with 12 years of hydroponic growing experience. And our chief operating officer is Luke, a diligent project engineer with a family background in farming. Our chief technology officer is Richard. He's an ingenious and resourceful engineer with 25 years experience in R&D. And our Matteo is our biotech agronomist who ensures our product quality. That was Matteo, by the way, who came on stage. And that fluent in English, Italian, and Spanish Georgia enables us to sell to our target market immediately. And our business developer, Lorenzo, he's fluent in five languages and secures partnerships and sales. And James, our manufacturing officer, is a mechanical engineer with amazing experience in plastics manufacturing. So we've been through Startup Bootcamp Acceleration. I've uh, just finished it. This is the demo day. And we've won awards and been on the media. But more than just words, we have a real customer in the marketplace already with Rago Group, 
one of Italy's largest producers of salad, funding a pilot program paying market price, currently under installation and commissioning. And our, our, we have a second a customer in the pipeline with Yorkshire Grown Produce, one of the UK's largest producers of tomato, later this year. So we're raising a seed round now to fund a product launch in Italy this year. And we plan to enter Spain after a Series A round of funding next year. So, uh, da, da, da. so we are raising 500,000 euros as seed funding to cover manufacturing operations, marketing and sales, and R&D. And with this, with this funding, we expect uh, target sales of 1 million euros for the first year, 5 million euros for the second year, and 25 million euros for the third year post-seed. And we already have a potential lead investor investing up to 220,000 euros in our seed round already. So act soon to secure this opportunity. If you're interested in investing in a team, that uh, has a strong ability to execute, an excellent product market fit, and in a huge, fast-growing hydroponic sector, then please reach out to me or connect after this speech. Thank you. Hydro phytoponics, affordable, sustainable. Very light. And flying. <laughs> Adam, come back. <laughs> So, it's very light, but there's a lot of people wondering, how, how can you back your claim that this thing is going to last for 10 years? Yeah. Our supplier, he, he, they made a, a custom UV additive to add to our plastic. It's a custom blend. And they, they tested this plastic with UV uh, lasers, and they calculated that it would last up to 10 years in Saudi Arabia. Okay. Lots of tomatoes there, right? Um, yeah, I would like to ask you something else, but I want, to, I want to say something here. So this guy yesterday was literally dying. <laughs> we actually saved him with a shot because he had a, you know, probably most of you had it, this very strong uh, intestine virus, right? <laughs> and so a big applause for this guy standing up today Thank for you. his pitch. Thank you. Thanks, Adam. Thanks, Peter.